Sam Kerr, not the Australian Sam Kerr, but the Scottish Sam Kerr. We want to welcome her into Attacking Third. Sam, first of all, you just had a massive transition from living in Scotland to playing in that league, and now you've moved to play for Bayern Munich in Germany. First of all, what has this life transition been like for you? I mean, for a start, it's amazing. I mean, I've never expected this in my career at all, so to be here is absolutely amazing. And not only the football, like the different culture as well. So I'm so excited to see what's going to come ahead. What is German culture? Because I've never been, and people have been talking about how it's lovely. They meet beautiful people there. It was one of their best experiences traveling. I, I don't have any knowledge about Germany. What has it been like for you? Yeah, well, Munich's a beautiful city. Um, yeah, the, it's so clean. Everyone's so friendly. Um, where I live, you're so you're 50 minutes to the center, you're 50 minutes to the training center. So, in terms of location, uh, where I am, it's great. And obviously, everyone has this big, massive sport support and culture for Munich itself and Bar Munich. So, um, yeah, to be here is great. And obviously, as time goes on, to even like get to know the fans and uh, be involved and speak to people, I can't wait for it. Okay, so you get this call from your agent about heading to Bayern Munich, and there's some need to reassure yourself that it's you, Sam Kerr, that they want, not the Australian Sam Kerr. Talk yeah. me through how that whole conversation went. Yeah, you've probably heard about this, where uh, my agent phoned me, and he was like, oh, Bar Munich have came in for me, and I just thought, no way, they've got the wrong Sam Kerr here. Are you sure they've <laughs> got the right, right one? Because obviously our names are the same, and I get mixed up a lot with her on social media and things, and I get tagged in her and her stuff so first and foremost I had to make sure that they had the right one and they were like 100% and I was like no way like this isn't happening for real like it's an opportunity I can never turn down so yeah um, I had to make sure first but <laughs> knowing it was me it was unbelievable. You couldn't be that surprised though because as humble as you sound right now you were Scottish footballer of the year you've won basically everywhere you've gone uh, you changed teams to Rangers and then you guys ended up beating Glasgow City and I mean basically you have winning in your blood and wherever you go you couldn't have been that surprised I mean as humble as you want to sound here you got to let people know that you bring it on the field. Yeah no well obviously for me as an individual like I have that hunger and that desire to do well and individually improves and I've got that winning mentality like uh, I want to win I'm not happy when I don't win I like to I like to put in a fight I like to work so hard and grind it out so that's kind of Scot Scottish culture and me growing up that's kind of the mentality that I, I grew through Glasgow City from Rangers with playing with the national team as well so I always knew that I wanted to achieve big things and take that next step in my career and maybe maybe step outside my comfort zone to somewhere that um I wouldn't I wouldn't play all the time or I wouldn't I'd have to work hard and start that start that fresh start again. So Bayern Munich's the perfect the perfect place for me, honestly. Um the players they have here is the quality is unbelievable. The club itself it's been successful for so many years. It drives women's football so to be here is amazing and I can't wait to get stuck in. Sam, that's amazing because I just interviewed Robert Lewandowski this weekend and he said something very similar, to continue to ask for new challenges and to grow and to challenge himself in every aspect of life. So the fact that you have that headspace already, you're, you're headed nowhere but up and you're so young. Um, but when we talk about you being new, you're not the only new player on this Bayern squad. You have a couple of heavy hitters coming from Chelsea and Pernilla Harder and Magdalena Eriksson. How has that been? You guys getting along? Yeah, well, obviously they're at the World Cup right now, so we've not been able to spend much time with them so far, but we've been watching them on the TV, but obviously they're world-class players. They, they were so successful at Chelsea, and um, to have them in this team is going to be amazing, and they're going to drive the standards, and hopefully that they help us achieve our goals for this season. So to have them, and for me to even learn off them and to even be on a training field <laughs> or a pitch with them is just like what's what dreams are made of. You are so humble. Um, but you led me to the World Cup. The Women's World Cup is going on right now. We know it. Who are you rooting for? Who have you been seeing that are you impressed by? Any players standing out to you? Um, well, I was really surprised by Colombia. I thought they played amazing football. Um, they played so well, and uh, you could see their passion from their fans and everything like that. And for me, being Scottish, it's all about that passion and having that like mentality so I love that from them but for me I'm kind of rooting for Japan right now I think Japan have an amazing team and um, obviously they've been playing really well so I'd like to see Japan go out and, and do it. 
Ooh, Sam Curry, you got a scout eye too. That's who I'm looking at. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm saying they take it now after their win against Spain. They're undeniable. Oh well, I mean, you can never, you never know in these these major tournaments. One minute you could win a game, the next minute you never know. So I think there's still going to be a lot of interesting things happen in the next games, and it's going to be a great watch. What a joy she is. Can you just not see how she transmits joy through the yeah. screen? Is she's she, so happy. She's I was so like happy and accent. positive, right? And, and <laughs> humble in every turn. I'm like, can you just say you're really, really good too? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Um, <laughs> let's talk about what Bayern Munich looks like now. They, I mentioned Magdalena Eriksson and Pernilla Harder, along with Sam Kerr, joining this team. How strong are they going to look? Bayern Munich has bookended their roster, as you mentioned, with Danish international forward Pernil Harder and in the back, the Swedish international Magdalena Eriksson. These are players that have left a legacy of winning from Chelsea. They've picked up four straight championships in the Super League with the Blues, and now they come to Bayern Munich where they're going to continue that run. For Pernil Harder, she returns to the Bundesliga, but for Eriksson, it's her first time playing in Germany with this league, so I imagine there'll be a little bit of adjustment for her. She's the former captain of Chelsea, but she brings that leadership to Bayern Munich that is just going to continue to roll this squad forward yeah. in their success. They are successful, and it's a competitive mm -hmm. league. And I think listening to Sam Kerr saying, you know, I want to get better, I want to compete with the best, well, get ready because it's going to be a lot different than what you were competing in in the Scottish League. So uh, I think that we always know what Bayern Munich is going to bring. It's going to be a well-organized team. They're going to have their challenges with a team like Wolfsburg as well and others in, in the league. But I think they did some good work in oh, the offseason. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They worked hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely excited to see them. I mean, I'm a Chelsea fan. So watching the Chelsea women's team, I've seen so much of Pernilla Harder and Magdalena Eriksson, and they are the core of this team. So are you going so to follow little, them yeah. a little bit to Bayern Munich? I can't tears. do it. Uh, I can't do it. Different Your league. Blues. Come on. The Blues. The Blues. I can't, I can't turn on them. I can't turn on them ever. We'll get you a jersey. We'll get you a kit for You know Friday. what? I, I have a Bayern kit. It's okay. 